Hello everyone, it's Yasser. Hey, what's up? Well, I said like at one something in the morning, I don't know where you're awake. So I excuse my hair, I feel like a cockatoo today. So wait for a second. Well, at one something in the morning I post I post on my like page, share serious thoughts that I was thinking to do a video because I have a lot of things to talk about and if I bombard my website with a bunch of things then you guys are not gonna visit. So unfortunately people's tensions the tension spam, whatever, are short. No offense. Um but yeah, I have a lot of cool topics for today and I hope no one gets offended because we're gonna talk real talk, all right? First of all, Kim Kardashian, all right? Um, my girl, you know, you don't love me anymore, but you know, that's fine. We're supposed to get married, but you like people who money and who raps and who thinks he's Jesus and stuff like that. So I don't want you no more, right? I don't want you no more. Well, anyways. The point is this, people think that's not your baby because you're hiding it way too, you, you hide it way too much for the press. I do I do understand a part that you guys don't want to show your baby to the world like that because there's a lot of psycho idiots out there. But still, come on, you're a celebrity, you have to do what you have to do, make the people happy, and that's it. That's what you get paid for. Can you just do that for me? Yeah, no. Um, but anyway, something bad about you. The only thing you have to lose that baby weight because I know you have been doing photo shoots that much, so you need to get back to on your game or the moonlight ain't gonna come in anymore. You get me? All right, so just I'll let you know. Well, VMAs. I think that that okay. The VMAs make make me think about something really, really, you know, really you know, deep for me. I stopped watching MTV when they started putting 16 and pregnant. I'm like, you're promoting girls who are 16 and pregnant. And then the thing is they try to, you know, deliver the message and hide it in the way. Come on, like, girls, you can do it too. You know, get pregnant, have sex, enjoy the one night stand. And, you know, you can be famous on show 16 and pregnant. That's not, that's not, you know. Whatever. That, that that stopped me that stopped me watching from MTV. I don't like MTV. I don't care they sue me. I don't like you, MTV. The only reason why I watch you because the VMAs and Miley Cyrus will go to twerk. So everyone's wanna watch that. everyone everyone wanna watch that. So anyways, the VMAs I have to say the production was good. The sound was horrible because when I watched the when I watched the reruns on the on the on uh, YouTube and their web, and their own website uh, with the last song Katy Perry you couldn't even hear sometimes her voice so the sound was horrible. Um, don't don't power off because I need you. Um, the sound was horrible. Yes, my, my tablet, sorry. Uh, the sound was horrible, and I think y'all could have done better because you guys are professional. That, that's what y'all call yourself, so professional. The performance everyone's talking about is Justin Timberlake, the good one. He killed it. I loved it. I started crying and everything because he brought InSync back. Like, you see 30 and 40 year olds, you know, moving. I'm like, dang, I want to be like that. 40 year olds still moving their hips, you know. You know, I can barely move my hands. Oh, well, yeah, <laughs> I'm exaggerating. But uh, that was for me, that was like the best performance. And then, and then um, I have to say, it. I don't like her music because I always think her music is really dark and demonic. But Lady Gaga killed it too. People say that was the worst performances of the that she was the worst performance of the night. I think Miley Cyrus was. That's just vulgar what she did. Um, but back to Lady Gaga. I like Lady Gaga's performance because she showed um how you call it. Um, she showed professionalism and the the way she changes with the <coughs> dancers. Her clothing, that was, that was, I was like, oh, that's the reason why she's on top, because she she has new creativity, and that is, you know, something you all artists should have. All right, my Cyrus, we, everyone's talking about you, I don't need to talk about you, because the whole world is talking about you, and basically, they have the same opinion as I do, I just can't say it on 
television, um, you know, for the sake of little kids. But they know what I'm trying to say. Um, but anyways, if you want to promote being a stripper on stage and, you know, have fun and, you know, God bless your life and Billy Ray Cyrus, you better handle her. <laughs> um, okay, Chloe and Lamar. Okay, see, when I saw this, I had to turn on my tablet and everything. When I saw that, I was like, come on, you guys are the cutest couple. I think you guys lasted a long time for you to be doing this. I'm not talking about Chloe. She's a good girl. Lamar, stop using drugs, man. That's going to put you skinnier than what you are, first of all. Second of all, it's going to make you crazier than what you are. And third of all, you'll lose your freaking marriage. And she's beautiful. So don't lose someone who's beautiful for drugs. You know what? Use coffee like I do. I'm not saying don't, don't misunderstand. I don't use drugs, never will. I'm clean, thank you, Jesus. I never use it. I'm just saying that if you want to have an addiction, use coffee as an addiction. Uh, people say it's bad for you. I perfectly think it's the, is you know, it's for the soul. But um, other people have their own opinions about it. I think coffee is the best way to lose from an addiction. And, you know, people actually say it. Or use gum when you're playing basketball. You know, do, do, do use the gum. If you like gum, then you, know, you just take packets like this of gum. And there you go. And that's all. That's all you got to do. Okay, my other topic. Well, oh, yeah, damn it, about Longley. Okay, I almost cried because I'm gonna see, I'm like starstruck. I'm seeing her September 11th and 12th on the X Factor, the premiering X Factor that you all have to see because if last season was really good and strong, this season is gonna be a little more lenient, but it's still with the, you know, strict stuff. But hey, Demi Lovato's there, Kelly Rowland's gonna be there, Paulina Rubio's gonna be there, and of course, Simon, the one who, you know, everyone hates, but I think now people are finding a place for in their hearts for him. Um, but yeah, then she's gonna be there and I love her and she's gonna be on Glee. I think she's playing a lesbian. I don't know why they give her that part because she's not a lesbian, but anyway, you know, that's acting. But you know, they're all they're promoting lesbian and gays everywhere. You know, that's up to you guys. I don't agree with certain things, but up to you guys. Um and the last the last thing was X Factor. I already spoke about it, love it. I hope you guys watch it, and I'll be tweeting about X Factor. And for the people, and just to clear things out, yes, I am a Christ follower. I love Jesus Christ. With everything I have, he is my hope, my salvation. I accept him November 17 of 2008. So if you want to know the life I'm living, I'm living a clean life. Um, we make mistakes. I'm not saying we don't. Um, but I'd rather have Jesus in my heart than no one. You got me? Um, I'd rather have him in my heart than not having him at all. Because when I didn't have him, I felt lost. Literally. And when I found him, I felt my life came together. And I, whoever doesn't have Jesus Christ, I recommend you to email me at blog at gmail.com. And if you want to talk about any situations or you need advice, let me know because I'm always here for you guys and because I'm on the website doesn't mean I'm far away. I'm really close. I'm closer than what y'all think. Just email me and I respond like this. Um, but yeah, God bless you guys. Have a blessed day. I hope you like my thoughts. If you didn't like my thoughts, you're going to see what's going to happen off like. Um, but you can always find more of my thoughts on www.yesirstats.wordpress.com. And there you can find more information about the crazy my size. You know, she crazy. She crazy. And the wonderful Justin Timberlake and Lady Gaga, her cool performance, but scary. Oh, 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 oh. oh she crazy. Um... But yeah, oh, and the Kim Kardashian stuff, everything's going to be on there. Um, I'm going to tell you the truth. My stuff are not categorized. I don't believe in that. I just post and you read. Very simple, right? Cool. Um, God bless you guys again. It's Yasir from the amazing website, Yasir Stuts. And I'll see you next time on a cool video like this. So don't you ever think I'm not going to do a video again because you'll see what's going to happen. Bye.